another blow to consumers, no matter what you fill your tank with, how the costs are being passed on to you. When the pandemic hit, so many stopped driving and gas prices tumbled. But as the economy ramps back up, gas prices are rising, as does the need for truck drivers. Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker is live from the city's northwest side with a look at how the industry is faring as diesel prices skyrocket. You know, when gas prices go down for the average driver, we feel it instantly in our wallets or our pocketbooks. But when diesel prices go up, it's not quite the same for truck drivers. The cost for the most part gets passed down to the consumer or the goods that we're looking for at the store just won't make it there. We still have a living to make. The profit margins might not be as good, but it just affects the way I look at loads and the way I take loads. Eric Mesker says he drives in a 150 mile radius based around Kermit, Texas. For him, the rising prices changes where he drives a bit. There may be one that pays a little bit more, but since it's a little further and depending on where it's going, I might take the one that pays a little less just because I'm not going to burn as much fuel. Either the driver pays for it, the owner operator that's pulling the freight, or the company pays for it, which in turns around and hands that cost off to the consumer. But at the end of the day, none of those things are positive things for uh, the prices of goods. They're going to drive price of goods up. In California, the price for a gallon of diesel is $6.49. Your favorite bottle of Pinot Grigio comes from California, and by the time it gets here, it costs $15 a bottle. Let's say the price for a gallon of diesel in California goes up to 10 bucks. The truckers don't absorb the cost, but you do, and that price for your bottle of wine goes up to $25. That's not the only thing that's jumping, but also the money truck drivers can rake in. In January of 2021, owner-operator truck drivers were pulling in as much as $15,000 a week because of the truck driver shortage. Now, a year later, now that the economy is coming back online, there's a higher need for truck drivers, and they can make as much as $25,000 a week. That's a sign of the pricing has gone up that high. These companies are trying to come back online as we turn the economy back on, and they're trying to catch up the production of oil and gasoline and natural gas. Now, if you're a consumer, you'll have to deal with the prices at the store, but if you're a truck driver looking for work, check out Sisu Energy's page. We've got it with this story on kens5.com, and you can end up making over a million dollars a year. You'll just have to deal with all that. Live from the city's northwest side, Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.